Hi, I'm Steve Hertz. I'm here with my wife, Rhonda. We're here at Doheny State Beach in Dana Point, California. And we'd like to tell you a little bit about our ministry to GIs. You've already heard from Dennis. We met Dennis a few months back and one of our personal ministries has been to cause reconciliation, healing and restoration everywhere we go. And so what we've found is when we get into people's lives, there are always things that we can speak to and, uh, and relate to. And what comes back is often healing and the excitement of seeing change come, change that's intended by Christ. And so uh, when we met Dennis, we, we heard about how he had been to Vietnam, how he had incurred uh, such uh, trauma and the things that he had to come home to, uh, a nation that was ungrateful, uh, even rejection. And uh, however, what we, we kept waiting to see what is God gonna bring from this? And then came the story about the, the little girl down the street that was praying for him the whole time. Every day she prayed for him while he was away. And when he found out about this prayer person who cared for him as he was away and risking and in harm's way for, for us over here, uh, when we heard about that, uh, when he, as he was talking about it, we realized uh, that now we found a chord that sounds in reconciliation and restoration and healing, which is that Dennis now has a ministry to people who are going abroad and risking their lives in harm's way, that he can pray for them and hold them up in prayer every day. And this is a fantastic ministry. It, it comes by some personal risk and some personal uh, trauma maybe. And, and uh, in being in harm's way, you realize that there are others who could uh, benefit by what you, you by your experience as it says in the the word of god uh, we were we we're able to turn it now and comfort others by the comfort that we received uh, in christ and so that relates to this ministry so we're we're interested in in uh, reaching people for christ and and telling them the good news and that's why we're here to tell you about this new ministry gi good news the other thing I wanted to mention too is that uh, the other testimony that you've heard uh, today uh, here is, is from Hami and Medavesh. And the great thing about the, what the Lord has done and the relationship that he's blessed, blessed us with in them is that unlike, uh, most like a lot of other Americans, we've had a, a skewed perspective of Persian or Middle Easterns. And it's what the media wanted us to know or wanted us to think about them. Well, by golly, it's not true. And we know that from personal experience just because of our relationship with Medavesh and Hami. Once, the more we've gotten to know them, the more and more we've fallen in love with them. And the more they've taught us about their history and what was taken from them um, and what needs to be restored in Iran not only in Iran, but throughout the Middle East and throughout the whole Persian culture. And so the great thing about the judgments that has shifted in our hearts towards the Middle Eastern is because of knowing Meravesh and, and Hami, it allows us to specifically pray for that nation and pray for that entire uh, continent such that God would reach them and Jesus would reach them now and bring peace uh, for their country and for their history to be restored. And we just are so grateful that we've gotten to know them. And as we develop our relationship, we're just excited about what God's going to do and how that's going to hopefully change your perspective towards the Middle East, towards the Persian people, and towards the lovely culture and lovely people that are there. And we thank you and, and hope that you'll consider donating to GI Good News as well as Sunflower House. And GI Good News is specifically uh, to distribute Bibles to those at military bases before they're deployed to these other countries, especially into the Middle East. So not only can they know Jesus themselves and give themselves confidence when they go in the battlefield, but most of all, to share the good news to the people there, to share the good news of the gospel with the people in the Middle East who may not know Jesus. And we just thank you for your contribution in advance. And God bless you.